me ask uh, the gentleman, uh, Mr. Willis, I think, is the person I want to ask. Uh, does BP have sole liability for damages caused by the use of dispersants as well as by the use of the oil? Sir, my involvement to date in response to the oil spill has been directly associated with the claims process. Well, I, fine. If someone files a claim, I got sick through breathing air made poisonous by the dispersants, would you award that person a, 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 an award? We have an open claims process, and anyone who feels like they have been damaged or hurt or harmed directly by this spill has every right. Directly by the spill, does that mean by the dispersants or only by the oil? Are we going to have to determine uh, uh, Jones got uh, poisoned by the oil, but Smith got poisoned by the dispersants, and therefore you're not liable? Or are you willing to tell us that it doesn't matter, you're going to cover people who got sick for whatever cause? What we are going to do is follow the law. And the well, law I'm asking you, do you feel that the law cover do you feel that the law covers the dispersants or only the oil? I'm not an attorney, but I'll tell you, you that we have a claims process. It can be accessed three ways through a 1-800 number. Excuse me. Accessed stop, stop. You're wasting my time. Uh, I'm not interested in the fact that you have a claims process that it can be accessed. I, we know that. The question is, what will you respond to in the claims process? Can anyone answer these questions? I'll tell Let you what we will respond to in our claims process. Yes. And I'll what tell you what we... What kind of claims? I'm sorry? What kind of claims? To date, as I mentioned in my testimony, we've paid over 13,000 claims. Some of them have been for lost income. Some of them have been to fishermen. If someone breathes... And I'm asking you a different question. If someone breathes in air on the Louisiana coast and claims that that air is poisoned as a result of the dispersant and can show that that is the case. Is that a valid claim under your they process? They can file a claim, yes. They can file a claim. To I didn't ask if they can file a claim. I said if they can prove that claim that they are poisoned by the, because of the dispersant, is that a valid claim that you would pay? Every claim will be evaluated and looked at Fairly Can you answer yes or no, please? Every claim do you, cl will do you consider poisoning by the dispersants your responsibility? What I'm telling you, sir, is that we will evaluate every single claim that we get in a fair I know you'll evaluate it, but you're evading my question. And the question is, well, let me read you something here. <clears throat> let me read you a different question. Fishermen responders who are working BP's giant uncontrolled slick in the Gulf are reporting bad headaches, hacking coughs, stuffy sinuses, sore throats, and other symptoms. The uh, material safety data sheets for crude oil and the chemical products being used in the dispersants list these very illnesses as symptoms of overexposure to volatile organic carbons, hydrogen sulfide, and other chemicals boiling off the slick. BP is not offering people respirators. We just finished in the other room two days ago voting ten and a half billion dollars to compensate people who were poisoned by breathing in toxic air after the World Trade Center disaster because the secretary of um, uh, because the head of EPA at that time lied and said that there were no uh, no ill health effects and the air was fine I very much fear we're recreating the same thing right now and that BP and I have a whole a group of stories here. Seven people have been admitted into the West Jefferson Medical Center in New Orleans receiving treatment for having contact with dispersants. <coughs> Marine toxicologist Ricky Yacht said the chemicals used by PP can wreak havoc on a person's body, even lead to death. Um, like other cleanup workers, Jackson had attended a training class. He was told not to pick up oil-related waste, but he wasn't provided with protective equipment. The BP officials told us if we ran into oil, it wasn't supposed to bother us, which is clearly untrue. We are, I fear that what BP is doing now is going to get thousands and thousands and thousands of people sick and maybe dead. And my question is, do you undertake the responsibility not to evaluate the claim? Do you, uh, do you recognize that the toxic air produced by the oil and by the dispersants can make people sick and is your responsibility? Yes or no? And what will you do to prevent this from happening since you're obviously allowing and requesting people to work without proper protection. I realize 
Uh, and I understand your question. We have received, as a part of our claims process, claims related to bodily injury. However, OPA does not contemplate personal injury, but as a part of our claims process, we will accept those claims, we will evaluate those claims, and we will address them as they come in. But in your evaluation, are you going to reject them because they're caused by dispersants, not by oil? That's the real question. Are you going to protect the workers, or are we going to recreate thousands of people um, who, who are sick and who we're going to be debating a few years from now how to, how to compensate? We are going to do the right thing. We're going to respond to this in an effective manner, and we realize we will be judged on our response. And we realize just, that just, we have an I'll, obligation. I will just observe, since my time has expired, that the answers are totally unresponsive to the questions, and I hope that after this hearing that you can get us answers to the specific questions I asked. One, do you re accept responsibility for the poisoning of people by the dispersants, either in the air or in the water, as well as by the oil, or is that not direct under your definition? Two, what steps will you take to make sure that the people working on the recovery are not poisoned as they are now clearly be, as is now clearly happening to them? I hope you can get us direct answers to those questions and not simply say we will evaluate it. Thank you.